Hi there, it's me again. Welcome back for another video. I'm Jocelyn. I understand that you have a lot going on in your life and that you're looking for something that will allow you to truly know who you are. Feeling with us, being happy, and appreciating everything in your power. We now know then if you can create coherence in your heart, that heart produces a magnetic field that literally causes you to expand your energy. And the more coherent the heart is, the more you can lay the thought of your future on that energy. And I've said many times, the emotions of anger and frustration and suffering and pain cannot hold the, hold the thought or the intention uh, of that future because those energies or those emotions carry a different frequency or intention. So then when you can combine a clear intention with an elevated emotion, you are changing your energy. And the practice of doing this is the important point because so many people ask to heal. They want to understand why they're not healing. And for the most part, they haven't learned the formula to heal. They want to create more abundance in their life but they haven't practiced the formula to create a change or more coherent energy. And the people who begin to do this properly, something magical happens. Their brain begins to change, their gene expression begins to change, their immune system gets stronger, they start having synchronicities in their lives, and it's those synchronicities in their lives that are telling them that what they're doing inside of them is producing feedback in their outer environment to let them know that on some level those coincidences and opportunities is the quantum field or universal mind organizing events equal to their energy. And people in this work that understand that when they get angry and frustrated and impatient, they've lost their connection to their future and they're back to the energy of their past. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We all learn these lessons as we move along. But being able to change it in those moments when you don't want to, justified or valid or not, some circumstance in your life causes you to feel and think certain ways, causes us to be more victimized by our environment. And we're teaching people then how to create better lives, not just do the meditations and then go unconscious for the rest of their day, but to stay conscious and to stay in the energy of their future. Now, people come to this work for all kinds of reasons. Some people do want their abundance. Some people want a new relationship. Some people want a new career. But really what they want more than anything else is wholeness. What they want is to feel more joy, more love, more freedom. And we teach people how to do that. So, <clears throat> Not everybody in this work heals. Uh, this is a process of discovery. But in the last couple years, we have seen so many incredible miracles, so many transformations. And we have the evidence, not only in science and the things we're measuring, and all the wonderful new opportunities that are coming out of this work with other uh, scientific universities and communities that are interested in studying us, but also our testimony, our students, they are the living example of what's possible. And that means then if other people can do it, you can do it as well. And it's going to take practice. It doesn't mean like if, you, if, you, if you've read all the books on how to dance the salsa and you've memorized all the content, but you've never got on the dance floor and done the salsa, or you've never, you've read the books on how how to tango, but you've never actually practiced and got your body involved in doing the tango. It doesn't mean that you're not a good dancer. You may have all this talent to be able to do it, but to learn the steps and to make it look natural and easy uh, and to begin to see that you're evolving your experience is fundamentally important to this work. So I wanted to connect with you to let you know um, that I have a lot of questions also, and I think all the time about building a better model of understanding, and you should too, and you should investigate the answers to those questions on your own. It's so important for you to take a moment and look for the answer. 
not ask the question and have someone answer it for you, although that's great in a community because our community informs each other. Our community supports each other. Our community heals one another. We honor one another. We respect one another. We tell the truth to one another. Uh, we shine for one another so others can shine. Uh, we educate one another. Uh, these are all uh, the important attributes that build a uh, indivisible bond amongst the community. But the important element then, more than anything else, is seeing feedback in your life. And so people can come for all kinds of reasons to do this work. And to me, it doesn't matter. What matters the most is that you're patient with yourself. Uh, this, uh, these concepts are easier to forget uh, than to remember. So that means then that doing this work and taking the time out of your busy lives to become an experimenter, to experiment to see if I change the way I think and the way I feel, uh, is it going to begin to produce effects in my life and then maintain that state, that energetic state, independent of all the conditions in your environment, independent of the conditioning emotionally that keeps you in the past or the expectation of the same future uh, and independent of certain habits and unconscious programs. That, that is the process of overcoming. And, and being able to sustain that state every single day causes uh, outcomes to begin to mysteriously appear in your life. And it is that mysterious appearance of those opportunities and synchronicities that transcend our limited understanding of possibility. And so, yes, not everybody heals in this work. We're learning the process. And it's not enough to just send people uh, uh, love in this work. Love is the wind that moves the feather in one direction. Intention is what lands the feather on the coordinate, on the person, on the circumstance, on the condition that you want to change. And it is our intention that is a function of our brain, a function of our ability to hold an intent or focus. The emotion is the fuel that moves us closer to that outcome. And so it's important for you to understand then that uh, if not everybody heals in this work and it's a practical application of, of overcoming every single day, uh, that allows you to become somebody else, uh, then it would be about becoming. It would be about you becoming a greater version of yourself. Sending love to someone in a certain direction uh, is good, uh, but we, we require more. And I know many of you have not been schooled or instructed uh, in the coherence healings, and that's okay. I want to become conscious of my unconscious thoughts. I want to be aware of how I speak, how I act. I want to look at how I feel every single day and see if that feeling is connected to my future or is connected to my past. And I want to write all those things down and remind myself to stay so conscious that I don't go unconscious and return back to that old personality that's connected to the same life. And then thinking about thoughts you do want to fire and wire in your brain and have them through repetition with intention and attention. Install the circuits and repeat it enough times so that the hardware becomes more like a software program and you naturally have a new voice in your head that says anything's possible, believe in yourself, you can do this. Instead of I can, it's too hard, I don't feel like it. Those are thoughts of the past. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share it with someone who could use some motivation. God bless you all and we wish you a pleasant day.